What is a supercomputer? A supercomputer essentially does the same as a regular computer. Sort and process data, but on a much larger scale. Supercomputers are made up of individual computers that all work together as one to process incredible amounts of data in a much quicker time than a regular computer can. The world's fastest supercomputer is HP's Frontier in Tennessee. It takes up a whopping 680 meters squared of floor space and costs approximately $600 million to build. We can see a photo of the supercomputer here showing all the individual computers in cabinets that are working together to form the supercomputer. So why do we need them and what are they used for? Weather forecasting is one of the main uses. Weather forecasting involves processing a huge amount of data and variables from all across the world in a very short amount of time. Weather forecasting is fundamentally based on numerical calculations that could each be done on a calculator. However, the sheer amount of the data that needs to be processed means there is an incomprehensibly large amount of numerical calculations that need to be processed instantly to create an accurate and up-to-date weather forecast. A regular computer would not be able to handle these calculations in a quick enough time to make the report useful. It would take it years to process. The supercomputer has such a huge amount of processors and computer resource it is able to process the data needed in seconds rather than years. The Frontier supercomputer mentioned is capable of doing one quintillion calculations per second, whereas an average desktop PC from 2022 can do roughly 100 million, meaning supercomputers are the only way of processing the data needed for weather reports in a timely manner. Simulations are another use of supercomputers. They also require a huge amount of calculations per second to function. A simulation to understand how aerodynamic an airplane design is will help save money and time for designers as they don't need to physically build the plane, they can simulate the conditions the plane would be in virtually which will help them make planes more efficient. Supercomputers are also used for scientific research. They have been used by NASA to study the climate of Earth and also to predict the direction of nearby asteroids to Earth. This involves a huge amount of calculations to work out the trajectory and speed of objects that are light years away from Earth. Again, this would not be possible without the computing resources that supercomputers offer. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful.